Hi, welcome to the shop. Today I want to talk to you about another way of holding uh, your wood in place while you're planing. Um, uh, a lot of people know about this little vise here with the, uh, with the wedge. Um, I did a video about it and um, uh, it's funny because after people saw it, they, they went out and they were, they were looking to buy them and uh, finding them on auction sites and things, which I thought was really very cool. Um, and I do, I do use it a lot, particularly when I want a nice long board and I want it to uh, stay upright and, um, and not worry too much. But uh, another friend of mine uh, said, well, part of the thing about learning to plane properly was using a bench stop um, rather than uh, uh, this is would really be considered a vice because it's squeezing the wood together um, and and of course you have the the vice here but uh, what I want to talk to you about are bench stops and one in particular that I bought at an auction recently and um, it's pretty simple a lot of people have seen these I, I think this one may have been uh, cut out by a, 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 an iron worker or a blacksmith. I don't really know, but I have seen another one since buying this one. And when I bought it, I had never seen it before. It's interesting. It's a T-shape and uh, has two points coming out this way here. And, and this is turned. The strange thing is that this is, this is sharpened a little bit. And so Originally, I thought, well, if you put a piece of wood this way against that, um, you could use it um, as a single stop. But the problem is that it kind of wants to move on you. So what this actually does is it sits into two holes that are this distance apart. And if, if, if you can picture it on the bench, I can do a close-up of it. But when you put it onto the bench like that in those two holes... This side here acts as a, uh, a stop to keep this from coming up um, because, because once that's down, in order for this to rise up, that has to. So um, it's an interesting tool and it's, it's really great because uh, there's certain times when you want to be able to plane and you don't want to have issues or things that are in your way. And uh, let, me, let me show you what I mean. Um, in my workbench, and most of you know that I don't, I have, I have a couple of other workbenches over there, but, um, I usually work out of this large four by seven foot, uh, piece with my bench, my, my vise here and my table saw, and this is the take up table for the table saw, my router table, but this is where I do most of my work rather than say one of the workbenches that you see on, uh, in, in, in different, uh, uh, woodworking sites. Um, so you see how this stop works is the T goes this way and they just fit into these two little holes and um, and it allows you to put a piece of wood this way or this way and this is what my friend was talking about is even when you're planing a piece of wood on its uh, on its side like that um, you, you still um, let me turn it this way. You still uh, want to use it in this direction, and and you can see how you have to get to a point that you're kind of good balancing. Um, um, now, I prefer it for a shorter board like that, um, so you can. Uh, You can see how that works nicely and as long as you keep compression down you can pretty much control this and keep it from flopping staying on the flat but you have to get one side flat really um, I think before you can practice this if, if one side is a little crooked and, and, and sideways it could be iffy but um, you can see it's, it, it works really well and the nice thing about it is that you can 
move it around your bench easily. And um, this is a, a number 605 corrugated that is, uh, and this is a piece of maple that we're, we're planing. Um, I'm taking a little harder cut than I need to on that one. But so you can see how that, that works. Um, nice thing is that if, you, if you're not necessarily working here and you want to do something, some smoothing, then um, you can drop this in another area of your bench because you have these little quarter inch holes everywhere where that you want and uh, and so say with a uh, number two you want to just smooth a surface you can work very quickly and then just pick this up and move it away see how beautifully that uh, that works it just is a great little stop if you uh, now uh, I have this this vice here and I have this one here and I have these holes all set up around the bench to where I can take advantage of being able to plane in a different side of the bench than I normally do because I would normally be over here planing or over here planing so this affords me some uh, some different areas, and 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 mostly for surface planing. Uh, for instance, on this one here, I can just pop it in there, and uh, let me move this out of the way, and I can um, I can just run down the board. Either working on the face without any any real difficulty flattening um, or as we said before you can put it up against there and um, and just plane down on the edge on these longer boards they tend to rise up in the back here so you can use it that way that way or you can um, come in here and move it back here for a wider board and I can move it to the middle of my bench which is a great thing and then be able to uh, plane off this area or uh, uh, so a nice big board will fit that way or I can go across the grain like that or I can move it a little bit closer in and, and on an angle and that way I can work on something a block this way and be planing forward if I'm going across the grain or if I'm going with the grain One of the nice things is this wide width here, um, so you don't have to worry about moving to one little point. Whereas a lot of other stops, if they're just there, for instance, if I turn this around and I use it this way, um, then watch what happens. See over here, I can't plane on that side, but using it this way. Makes it nice and easy to clean up the face of a board. And I suppose if I wanted to, that seems a little ridiculous to me, but I could clean up an edge. It's uh, just another alternative that I wanted to share with you. Um, I keep it over there out of the way. It's flat, easy to stay out of the way. 
But I, I did notice that somebody else on another site was asking about it because they didn't really know uh, what it was for. And, um, and when I first got it, I had seen something like it, but I really wasn't, I had never really used it much to, uh, to be able to say that this is the way to use it. But after having it for a while and playing around with it, I've just um, uh, discovered that it's just really a fantastic tool, accessory to have for a bench. And it's very easy to use. Um, you're not really having to install it. And it's a perfect thing for an informal type bench as mine. Not sure that you'd want to use it too much with a, a you know, some sort of really fancy, but it works great in this case. And um, I think you can see that um, it gives you just a great um, variety of different places on the bench to be able to work. And um, so if you see this on one of the auction sites or something, I'd suggest you grab it. Um, of course, these, these work great still, and I wouldn't do without it. And of course, my pattern maker's vise works great, and I'm not going to be taking that uh, off the table now that I have this. But it does afford me a lot of, a lot more space. I can even do this here and run a really long board if I wanted to all the way down here and plane. So um, I hope you guys will find, if you find one, you'll grab it and uh, play around with it and let me know what you think. I, I think it's very cool and uh, I don't think I paid very much for it. You guys take care, stay safe, and I'll see you again in the shop.